Hey everybody, today's deck is called the Lonely King. It's all about playing Aridin and then killing your opponent's stuff with Epidemics and Azure's Thunders. You keep your Aridin on the board, which is going to probably not die to Epidemic. And you might also play uh, Aridin later than usual, but that's fine. The deck also uh, blacklists pretty well because you have all these bronze cards that you can just push out of your hand and there's the only worst thing is that you have a, a these two elves. Other than that, you should be able to get your stuff. I'm playing around with Succubus. Succubus is really good against Skellige, which Skellige is the only kind of weakness this deck has. So if they play a Morkvark and buff it up a bunch, just play Succubus, steal it. And you can also steal their um, uh, Olgirt with Caretaker. Those are the two options. You can tempo them out on the second round with the uh, Crones. You have a pretty good way of winning the first round with just, you know, control card after control card after control card. If your opponent goes first, don't play Aridin. Play the control cards. Kill whatever they're playing. Then play Aridin when you don't really have any choice other than to, you know, play a unit. If your opponent has a Scorch effect, something like um, a Shiru, you can pass out of that. You don't want to deal with that. Scorch is a strong card against this, though you can just play the Crones as a counter to it. And without further ado, we're going to play this. It's called the Lonely King deck because, you know, it's really only playing... Aridin. I got this idea while I was playing uh, when I was streaming the other day. Ran into a person who completely countered my Mithril deck with it. He just kept killing my Mithrils. So. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Not much. Oh, by the way. Ooh. Uh, uh, do -do. Get all table. these books off the desk. Drink. I went to the library this weekend. Spent a lot worlds. of time reading. That's why you see all those books on my bed. Slept. <laughs> Almost fell asleep on it. I had like 12 books that I got from the library. You only get two weeks with them, but yeah. Alright, this is going slow. What do we got here? Well, we want to push out our uni uh, units. We don't want any of them in our hands. I actually would not want a, uh, a crone in my hand. Just, like, I'm going to get a crone eventually. I thin my deck enough for it. So, so we're up against King Bran, which makes uh, uh, Succubus particularly good. So our opponent's going first. So we're probably going to uh, take advantage of things like, uh, we're going to probably use an Epidemic here. You can get rid of that. Okay. We're gonna play another epidemic. We could have played Siri if we thought he was gonna use two. So what's our plan? Table and let's drink. Free as be the bravest. like that. Uh, I might just lift up Aridin. Now he's 14 strength. I've negated the damage from Azur's Thunder with that. I do not know if this counts as a spawn unit or a, 
Uh, we actually want to win this, so we're going to rally some cards out. This will also thin my deck a bit. Unfortunate that it ended up being like this. I also killed something in this graveyard. Not pushing my card loss too, too much. So I keep a 9 strength unit, which is not bad. Okay, uh, we're going to look at his graveyard real quick. He doesn't have anything I want, so... We're going to play Avalok. You will see it. Dream. Oh, we got a Chrome. I actually wanted an Modern Ekimara. Freyr is patient, so but she brooks revive, no insult. Uh, he's going to revive that. We're going to steal this the next turn if we get a chance. You talked enough. I can help you if you wish. What is he going to discard? He's discarded a lot of his value cards, by the way. We know that. Okay. Actually, curious what my deck's my opponent's playing. I'm gonna play the Chrome. And be the best. And last. They're also really good on the last round. Goddess protect you from all evil. So what? Should I pound it into a poker? Okay. play an eight point we card shall do it my okay, now way. we're gonna pass because we've made a situation where it's difficult for him he has to play at least one or two cards to win this so we pass here we also are going to get siri back these kind of situations are ideal uh we want to caretaker his uh Clan Tursok Axeman if we ever get a chance. Bow before modern Freya. So what? Should I bow into that guy? Poker? So if we get a chance, we do want to revive that, but I don't think we're going to get a chance. He's probably going to use Restore or something. Don't you pester me. Okay, he's won, the, he's won this round. There are two options here. We could steal a revive card. Well, we can't steal a revive card because I don't think this allows for, for permadeath to be stolen. Okay, he's going to get to go first, so he's probably going to start off with a restore. If he we does, he's not much we can who do. is virgin, mother, and crone. He's going to revive. He's probably going to revive his big guy. Let's not get him. It's unfortunate for us that there's not much we can do about it. So, what can we steal? It's everything that isn't permadeath. So he's going to be able to get most of his stuff back. Uh, I'm always surprised by what you can take from a person's graveyard. So I'm going to take his guy here away from him. Cross the wide somber sea. I know this puts I me in vul see. makes me vulnerable to uh, Gale Igni. Sort of a wenches. Get yourself an axe. Oh, 
I'll do what I can. Okay. Don't make me laugh. Okay. It's not bad. That doesn't increase my board state, but I have this Swallow Potion. Just appreciate that Tyrannium. And then we're done. This probably wasn't... I should have probably stole the Clan Tursok Skirmisher when I had a better chance. But... You win some... Uh, well, you, I won, but... I think... If I was Scoia'tael, I could have chosen to go first, and then I would have had the chance to uh, steal it. There are times when you prefer to go first. I'm glad that my opponent didn't have a, uh, what do you call it, a restore. I'm going to try another game. That game was pretty, that game went a little easier than I expected. I was hoping I'd get a succubus and be able to steal a morph bark, but. Patience you know, is not, not all, a virtue not I am known to have. In this Is case, I actually want to steal the Manganel for my opponent. Because Ma uh, the Manganel has actually uh, punished my opponent quite big, uh, quite significantly. So I'm going to push out the, uh, the Crone. I don't want the Crones. I'm going to push that out. And I'll push out my other Crone. I don't want them in my starting hand. Okay, it's unfortunate that I'm going first. But you shall die, it's what it is. Okay. In this kind of situation, I want to rally. It's unfortunate. Actually, we shall see what the future holds. Okay. It's time. Okay. My opponent might pass at this point. If they do, I can just play the crones. Okay, and I play the crones, and I win the round. It's one. I'd be your best. And last. Okay, and it gives me a pretty good card to go into the next round. Since I'm playing against a control style deck, and he's messing with my uh, draws. Ooh, a decoy. That's actually okay. Okay. Succubus is probably a little bit more complicated to deal with, but I'm just going to probably just <laughs> pass after this. Notice! All roads lead to Nilfgaard! Okay. Interesting. We're just going to keep controlling the board. Not everybody has a clear weather. He has a treason, which is important to note. We can actually counter the treason with our succubus. Interestingly enough. There's been a mistake. I'm no mage.
We could steal the roach from him, but that would be problematic. Oh, man. Uh, he's making this hard. I should have just passed when I had a chance, when he had to play two cards to get ahead. That way I would have gotten card advantage, and I screwed up. He played around my control pretty tough. That Azure's Thunder hit me hard. Oh man, I didn't get that. Yeah. Proceed according to plan. That roach is just getting a lot of value. Well, I'm not seeing any spotters. I'm seeing a Viggle Forts. I'm always surprised when they play that instead of that. So we're going to start off with a... Ah, that's pretty good. He has lots of um, cards in his hand that I can't do anything about. I don't see any spotters. But we can deal with the spotters with the Dimeridium Bomb. So we're going to get rid of that. The North shall tuck tail and beg for mercy. We do not want to kill his. Oh, oh, I he's just trouble. going to summon it again with Viggle Forts. So we might just pass. Well, we can't pass into Viggle Forts because he could just. Oh my god, that's actually awesome that he can just use Viggle Force after I pass, and then the card draw I get out of it is mute. That's actually really mistake cool. stars reflected okay. in a pond. That was a mistake on his part. Little Forge should be played after your opponent passes if you're going to do that. Okay. Gurak. Kill you. I don't know if he has any gold cards left. I wonder what treasonous card he has. He's used all his gold cards, so he doesn't have a Lepo or something that I need to worry about. He also cannot uh, treason this, and I knew he had treason in his hand, so from the very beginning. Treason, you want to take a loyal card. Tell me what you've got. Okay. I feel like five points power from his board. It's not, I could have probably saved for this card. Burak. Oh, that's unfortunate. I can't kill this, and he's going to treason it. Oh, both of these are treasonous? Wow, I did not know that this turns this into a disloyal. That, that is cute. That is really cute. Oh, I don't want to 
use epidemic now. He wins. <laughs> that was cute. I'm gonna pass. That treason is actually kind of cute how he's using it. Boy. I miss Plague though. I should have pushed for the card advantage instead of uh, letting my opponent just dictate my cho uh, his choices. After I played Aeromancy, I should have just stuck there. Do so not suck you test late, my patience. Last. Any last words? Push out the crones, push out the Ekimaras. Okay. Let's go! Wow. Push. We kind of know what our opponent's going to play. He's going to play a Temerian Foot Soldier next. Which is unfortunate because. we Well, we can always just play an Aeromancy. We're going to play Azure's Thunder to get rid of this. Okay. We're gonna let him what keep damaging. What do you damaging. want of me? And we can keep doing this. Actually, I should have waited just... a turn. Okay. Well, he didn't give me a chance to do anything. Let's see if he kills my Aridin or not. He has the power with Radovid to do that. Okay. We know our opponent is Playing lots and lots of things. We're gonna pick up um, this guy. That heals him. The damage he took. We have to be careful about Geralt Igni. But it's kind of a um, what to expect situation. Just win by playing a premium potion, and we pass, and we win this round, and we can just pass the next round over if we wanted to. But we're gonna have to play Siri at least. Okay, we got another Azure's Thunder. We got a Succubus. Succubus is cute. I'm not sure oh, oh, I sense trouble. Succubus creates a weird situation with, um, <laughs> because it makes a unit disloyal, which is fascinating, in my opinion. We can use it to steal units from our opponent. So if he, yeah. So we're going to pass. We know we got Aridin for a while. Our opponent's going to have to play around Aridin, which is super buff. Right now, I'm not sure if he has a scorch or anything. It makes his some of his uh, seed units inefficient. Are you wounded again? Okay, we're getting a lot of card advantage out of this. We still he still has to keep playing stuff. I'm surprised he hasn't used Radovid to kill my Siri. He should use that right now. Do not okay, test my patience. This is the ideal situation. By far. He should have done this a little bit differently, but, you know. What are you going to do against a guy who's, who's making all these kinds of mistakes? Alright, well, we got our ideal final draw. This is why we push out the you cross the wrong sorceress. Okay. I wish I had a way to kill that. But I'm not going to be bothered. I'm not going to get hit. Okay. Well then I will buff it. Now 
Okay, we can expect him to do something with that. There's nothing we can really do about it. So we can minimize our losses by doing this. We know he's gonna hit it. There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm oh, done with hurt. you. Gonna lower some stuff. He's gonna get us hit twice. We're still on the pull. We're still winning, so I'm not worried about that. He had a really tough turn two, but he did have a nice combo, to say the least. Aridin did us wonders in that game. I don't own Pavetto, and I want to do a Pavetto deck eventually. Okay. We need to win one more game, but we'll do that for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody.